Hello everyone, welcome to Candid Little Yams. This is my one week update on cloth diapering. If you hear some coos and caws, the little baby is sitting in my lap. I have to burp her now. So, um, what's going on with cloth diapers? I knew from the start that I was not taking cloth diapers to the hospital. Um, I knew they provided disposables and it just seemed like one more thing to carry and have to deal with and remember, which I knew I wouldn't be remembering much with labor and recovering and all that jazz. So uh, we used what they provided, which they provided newborn pampers, and then the doctor, the nurse was like, these are huge on her. So they got me the preemie kind. So we came home with almost a 30 or so preemies and whatever I took of the newborn kind. And we continued to use them because when I got home, I discovered while we did get newborn size prefolds, they're still huge on her. She's five pounds. She was born five pounds, two ounces. And the covers also start at seven pounds. So they were huge on her. They started to get better. I will insert a picture of the cover here. If I take pictures of the, um, ooh, gay burp. If I get pictures of the, uh, flats on her, not the flats, the prefolds on her, I will. What is working best for us as far as cloth diapering, it's going pretty good. Um, it's not Ooh. With that burp came some milk. Okay. Now she has the hiccups. So what is working best for us right now is Green Mountain Diapers Half Size Flats. I bought 36 regular size flats. I think I bought 12 large flats and 12 half size flats. The half size flats I will show here. you here what they look like on her. I believe this was a gainer's fold for girls modified for the half size flat. If you want to see a video on how I folded it, let me know. I don't think it's that impressive, but they do fit her great. Um, and they are small flats. They are definitely, they're not half exactly, but they are smaller and they probably won't fit a normal size baby. Um, but you can use them as a booster. So I plan on using them as a booster once she grows out of them. Um, we're still using the disposables. I was also gifted... Um, some size one huggies and she leaked out of those not only are they too large they're just I don't know I, I if I were to use disposables I probably wouldn't buy more huggies um, the pampers haven't leaked 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 um, but cloth diapering sometimes it can get overwhelming not because of the cloth diapering aspect but just because she has like some little acid reflux stuff that requires a little bit of special attention and I am breastfeeding and up all night with her so with sleep deprivation um, sometimes I will grab the disposable at nighttime but we still use cloth diapers like 75% of the time right now like I said the covers are huge um, if the covers fit properly, we would probably use them 95% of the time. But the flats fit great. They're definitely my favorite. I still put the oversized prefolds on her too. Huge and bulky and she has the biggest butt in them. But um, that's how it's going right now. We do cloth diaper laundry just fine. They come clean. It's That part's easy. I hang dry them for the most part. I think I put them in the dryer once when I was prepping them. But I didn't really prep my diapers, and I would suggest you do that. I can see where it's important, because one time, she didn't have on a cover, and she just had on a um, pre-fold, and the daddy, her father, my boyfriend, uh, <laughs> he was holding her, and he was like, I don't care if she pees on me. I was like, okay, that's, that's between you and her. And she definitely peed on him. When I say like a little drop actually got absorbed by the diaper, without the cover, it's nothing to stop it from running out and like taking its time to be absorbed in a non-prep diaper. And it just ran out all over him. All over his shirt. So much pee. I, he didn't expect that much pee. So she's peeing good. And <laughs> the diapers, I can tell that they are working when they do have a cover. But it probably would have been better to actually prep them properly. So I washed them one time, but I didn't wash them five, six, and seven times. So that is my one-week cloth diapering update. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.